Hello everybody, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another Bo Peep review. And this time is the Bo Peep and Giggle McDimples interactive Talking Friends figure by Thinkway Toys. Her retail price is $69.99 and you can find her on Target, Walmart, and recently they've started selling on Amazon. So that's pretty awesome. Now, of course, um, as she does talk, with giggles i have saved that part to the end of the video and i like to do that because i know that they say sometimes they say stuff that's a little bit spoilery and in case you don't want to know that then i'll let you know when you can stop watching also i've noticed that she is a lot taller than some of the other bo peeps that they have done she's a little bit different in size so there is a size comparison at the end of the video as well now there is a lot to go over so let's just get started with this review Right on top of the box, we have the Toy Story 4 logo and we can see Bo Peep on display. And this one does have a plastic uh, cover compared to like the Talking Bo Peep that I did the other day, the review. And that one didn't have like a cover so they could get scratched and stuff. So I do appreciate that since she has an outfit and we don't want it to get dirty. It says, hi Giggle, hi Bo. Bo and Giggle interact in play mode. Two ways to play, original voices, Bo Peep and Giggle McDimples, interactive talking friends. And then on the bottom, we have the Think White Toys, a logo and it's for ages four and up now on the side we have some of the little phrases that they say and a picture of the item Bo Peep and Giggles interact <laughs> there's another picture here and it says have you met officer Giggle McDimples she's a porcelain like doll and then it says a little description of Giggles and she's from Minneapolis that is kind of cute very clever <laughs> Bo Peep and officer Giggle McDimples interact and talk with each other they have a couple of phrases right there. Interactive play where you put her on her shoulder and they interact with each other. Um, and you can also just press her talk button in her belly and she'll just, they'll just say all the words without actually interacting. And I'll show you that again towards the end of the video. Um, I already heard it and they do say some spoilery stuff, minor spoilers, you know. So you can go ahead and pause if you like to read that. It just gives you a quick description of the item and a description um, of the characters. Bo Peep does come with some instructions and I've included them in the video and I'm speeding it up so you can, you know, so the video is not too long. There's a lot of instructions here, but the only reason I did that is so that in case you bought her and you lose the instructions, you can come back to this video, pause each frame and read it if you need it. I'm also doing it for myself so I can get rid of it. <laughs> so there's that. You can pause and read the instructions if you need them. And here we have Bo Peep out of the box with Officer Giggle McDimples, and she's just awesome. <laughs> First up, let's take a look at the staff, which is pretty simple. Uh, plastic, soft plastic. We have seen this one with uh, pretty much all of the different figures slash dolls that they have made so far. It's really nice. Um, you know, it's not as detailed. The rope on it could actually be, you know, could obviously be painted. But that's totally fine with me. I, it really is, isn't a big deal. I'm kind of sick of all this uh, sticks laying around because <laughs> I've have so many of them. Now, the actual Giggle McDimples has um, a magnet on the bottom of her body. As you can see right there with scissors. Don't try this at home. <laughs> that's how she attaches to Bo's um, shoulder. She's really cute. Obviously, uh, she's a little bit bigger than she is in the movie. She's not, you know, necessarily... Um, size accurate for Bo Peep. She's supposed to be extremely tiny. I mean, like really, really tiny. <laughs> like she should be that big. And instead, um, she's that big. So obviously, you know, they did that because it has the mechanism inside and in order for it to work. But she's still super cute and I love her. I love that she's a little bigger too, just because you can see her better. Now here's Bo Peeps. This is a close up on her face and I love um, the face that they use for her. Again, it's a bit different than the other um, dolls that they have done. She's bigger. Her head is a little bit bigger too. Um, by bigger, I mean taller. I don't mean like big or anything like that. She's taller and the head is just bigger. You're going to see it later. <laughs> but she's pretty. She has the porcelain-like uh, feature where she has a shine to her face. She's really pretty. She's smiling. Her cheeks have a little bit of blush in them and she's just adorable. I love Bo Peep and I love... Um, the way that Thinkway has captured her face. I do I do wish that they did her eyes a little bit lighter for at least one of the dolls. But, I'm, you know, I'm okay with it. But I would have liked that a lot. 
Now her hair is a separate piece as it is with the other uh, figures and it's a uh, soft uh, plastic. You see that it's attached to her head. And I feel like they, they just did a completely different scale for this doll. Um, again, you'll see later, but that's at least the way I feel. She is adorable. And now let's take a closer look at her outfit, which is really nice. This is the first bow peep in this outfit um, that I get that's actually fabric. And it's not like, you know, plastic molded on. It's a really pretty outfit. It's a soft um, fabric. It's almost, almost see-through. But it's not, but it almost, almost see-through. <laughs> and it's all, of course, one piece. I just love the front of it, how they use the little um, lace on the side. Of course, she has the pink ribbon wrapped around her waist, which gives her that cinched waist look that Bo Peep has. Now, on the back part, you can go ahead and open that if you need to, but I'm actually not able to take it off because it's attached by the, um, what's it called? By the belt. So I won't be removing it completely, but you can pretty much take a good look. There's the battery box back there, and you can see that she does have articulation at the waist. So that's cool. I wish I could take the entire outfit off, but I won't be able to do that. I just don't want to like have to, you know, unstitch anything. You get the point. Now, the bottom of the pants is also very simple. It's not as detailed as it is in the movie, but it is pretty nice. And she has the little ruffles there. When you turn her around, you can see that they capture her body shape perfectly. I love, um, Thinkwear has done a great job with that. They really captured what her body looks like and the way that she looks like. It's very accurate. Now, the shoes are not removable. They look like they are, but they are not. Of course, they're black um, flats, as it is in the movie. Of course, Bo Peep has her molded on uh, battle wounds. As you can see, there's white tape there. Or it's supposed to be white tape. And then she has the purple one by her wrist. And of course, when it comes to the articulation for this doll, it's pretty great. The head moves up and down into the sides. Arms go up and down, articulation at the knees, and um, the feet do move um, on the bottom as well. It's pretty great. Um, her waist is also articulated. Here we have Bo Peep right in the middle of the talking figure that's all molded. And then we have the other one, which is the signature collection. I have reviews for both of them. Right away, you can tell that she's a bigger uh, figurine. I mean, right away, she's taller. Her chest is a little bit wider. Um, which makes her head also a little bit bigger. I think even the bow is bigger at this point. So it's on a completely different scale. Um, and I, I guess I'm a little bit surprised because I thought it was all the same. They were all the same, but no, definitely she's taller. So there are all the other bow peeps, like this two that you see here are around 13 inches tall. And this new one, it's definitely close to like 15 inches. And now let me show you how she works, what she says, and all of that. So beware, spoilers ahead, maybe. <laughs> okay, so when you turn her around, you will see that there's a play button, which is the play mode. There's an off button and a try me. So when it's on try me, you can press her belly and she has all, all of her sayings and all of Giggle's sayings, but it's not connected to each other. Meaning that, you know, when you lift her up, it does nothing, see? There's a magnet in there, but it does nothing because it's not on play mode. But let's hear it just so you get an idea of what I'm trying to explain. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bo Peep, but you can call me Bo. Hi, Giggle, how are you? Oh, you know me. <laughs> See, normally it's supposed to, when you lift this, they interact. So because it's on, it's not on play mode, it's just kind of, play you know. Playtime all the time. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're so cute together. I can't wait to see this movie. Okay, so now let's put it on play mode so you can see how it actually um, is supposed to work when you're on play mode. <laughs> let's ride. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see ya. See you later. Hi, Giggle. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. <laughs> what did you do today, Giggle? Search and rescue in Minneapolis, silly. <laughs> Again. What's the situation? 
situation, Mo. We ship out with the carnival tomorrow. <laughs> See ya! See you later! Hi, Giggle! Hi, Mo! Have you seen my sheep, Billy, Goat, and Gruff? Don't worry, Mo. We'll find them. Alrighty, my friends. Well, that was super fun. As you guys know, I am obsessed with Toy Story 4 and hearing all of this just makes me even more excited for the story. I can't wait to see it. Um, make sure that if you haven't, you check out my other Toy Story 4 reviews. I'll link them on the bottom. And yeah, that's pretty much all for today. I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment and I will get back to you. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on my next video. Bye bye.